Welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. I'm super excited today. I finally got a hold of something that I have been looking at getting a hold of for probably the last year. I've checked with several companies, was never able to get my hands on one. What am I talking about? An AR-10 pistol. It's kind of one of those, you know, the first thing is, is why would I want or need a 308 pistol? Why not? You've got a readily available, powerful, hard-hitting cartridge in a small package. Presumably reliable. First thing is, is this is from PSA, and I did a review on the PA-10, and it really looks identical. The barrel, I think it's pretty much the same stainless steel barrel, 1 in 10 twist, except this is 10 inch instead of the 18 inch that I got. I like the forearm, okay? It's nice, it's light. The lower appears to be the same lower, with the exception, of course, the forearm brace. And if you have other AR pistols, this forearm brace is gonna be bigger, beefier, heavier, because it is on a 308. Other than that, it looks and feels identical to the PA-10, it's just short. And it's a lot lighter. This weighs in just over seven pounds, seven pounds four, you can see there. Um, BCG, nice looking BCG. Trigger, trigger is the same standard PSA trigger that I've got with every PSA. This one, I pulled three different times and we're coming in just about six pounds. Now, for accuracy, yeah, I'd wanna drop in a lighter trigger, and I might do that. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with the factory trigger so we know exactly, you know, right out of the box, no mods, what we can get. I'm gonna throw on um, a scope here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my scope uh, with a Warren quick detach. I've got a Nikon on there. This is my PA-10 that I got and reviewed. And if we just kind of hold it up and compare, noticeable size difference. I mean, of course, 18 over a 10 inch barrel. So we'll take this scope, we're gonna put it on here, and we're gonna see, you know, if we can get comparable accuracy. You know, what would be great is if we got similar accuracy with this 10 inch barrel. That would give us reason as to why we'd want a 10 inch, because why carry around a longer, heavier rifle if I can carry a smaller compact and have at least close to or similar accuracy. I mean, it is gonna change uh, ballistics out of the shorter barrel, and we can test that. So let's, uh, let's get this scope on here and get outside while it's cool and do some shooting. What I did was is I took the scope that I had on my PA-10 that I reviewed with the 18 inch barrel, and we stuck it on here. How awesome would that be if it was pretty much spot on with a zero. We're gonna try for my little CMP targets down there and see, and then we'll start dialing it in and get it zeroed and see what kind of groups we can get. Got a little bit of a kick to it. So testing my groups here, I've been doing like three shot groups and I'm using some PPU match. I wanted to see, I mean, the groups aren't bad. Uh, you know, they're not sub MOA, but I did want to test. I got my PA, PSA custom trigger in there that's got a lot lighter pull, a lot crisper. I want to see if that shrinks down these groups a little bit. So let's see, uh, see how it does. Wow, that, that triggers a lot lighter. Groups weren't actually very good on that one. Let's try a five shot group. That last group was a cold barrel. I just did the three. We've waited just a couple minutes here. Let's try a five shot group. See if it tightens, see if it spreads. That group 
shrunk. It seems to like a warmer barrel. A lot of times I find when I'm doing accuracy, they like the colder barrel. This one likes the hot barrel. That's actually an MOA group, maybe sub. Let's go take a look. Look here, we've been zeroing at 100. Here's where we started zeroing. That was the first shot that I had after 50 yards. Made some adjustments up here, over here. That's two shots. Warm barrel. So then I kind of did what I usually do. I let the barrel cool, and then I fired three shot groups. You know, I'm thinking, oh, that's, you know, that's all right. And then I waited, let it really cool off, and I shot that, and that's not very impressive at all. I thought, no, oh, that can't be right. So while it was still warm, I came over here and fired. That's 10 shots. This was the first one after over here with the barrel still, still somewhat cool, and then that group is 10 in a row from a warm barrel. I don't know about you, but I'm impressed. I think that uh, I think that's an awesome group out of a 10-inch barrel with just a $120 Nikon Pro Staff scope. That rocks. I I couldn't be happier. Just because it's always better, proof's in the pudding, it's better to see it yourself. We're gonna shoot at some steel, 200, 300, and 400. We'll start off here at 200. Okay, so we're coming to an end with this review. Of the PSA P10, PA10 pistol, 10 inch barrel. I've got some Tula in here and some military surplus we're just going to dump all of that and that's going to give us an idea of reliability i switched back um, to the original trigger here so we can test um, make sure that we don't have any light primer strikes with the match trigger so we'll be using the factory trigger and hopefully i suspect this is going to go off so far i'm absolutely loving this i got my m21 on here i just did a recent review on this i love this site real quick before i do this ammo dump remind you to check out our web page here we've got online courses i develop these courses that's what i do i'm an educator by trade i've got a course on finances uh, study skills for high school college students guaranteed and then another one continuing education for first responders military law enforcement firefighters ems they're all 100% money back, guaranteed 30 days. They work, check them out. If you do me a big solid too, if you like this video, if you like watching my reviews, just give them a click, they're in the description. That'll increase the number of views and that boosts them up in the search engine. So when people are looking for them, they, they pop up. And if you haven't checked out our webpage, Crazy Stupid Deals, when I find awesome sale items and stuff like that, I always have the links there. And then I've got my Amazon page. Using our links helps support the videos and the reviews and keeps the products coming. Thanks for your support. Let's dump this ammo. There we go, not one single failure to fire, jam, nothing. That was all Tula. 
the cheapest of the cheap steel case Russian. This thing works like a charm. Five stars, two thumbs up. I love this PSA PA-10 pistol. Actually, I would take this over the regular size any day of the week. You saw the group. That was tight. I mean, that was tight for a 10-inch barrel. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget, do me a solid. Click on those links. Get them up in the search engine. Remember, gun safety starts at home with educating our kids. Be safe. Happy shooting. Until next time.